Good afternoon. You're welcome to our distant learning English class. I hope you are fine and ready to start. Today I would like to start with a question. Think of three things that you cannot live without. Not people, not animals, just three things that your life would be impossible without them. What are they? I'm sure that many of you have a telephone on your list. No one can imagine life without telephones. A telephone has become an essential part of our lives. And this is the topic of our today's lesson. On the telephone. Please pay attention to the preposition. It is on. Though in Ukrainian it is translated po telefono. Po telefono. I was speaking on the phone. But in Ukrainian, Yaurev po telefon. So, what do we usually start? What do we usually start when we are uh, beginning a new topic? We start with the vocabulary. New words. Novi slova. Kožna tema rozpočinajice z vedenjem novoji leksike. And we begin with the phone, the telephone. So, sometimes students ask me how to learn so many words in such a short period of time. Як вивчити так багато нових слів? Що зробити, щоб їх запам'ятовувати легше? The prompt is in your smartphone or in your computer. How do you know where the information is on your smartphone or on your computer? By folders. Папочка. So I advise you to make up a mind map. Асоціативна карта за допомогою якої легше запам'ятовувати слова, поєднуючи їх у групи за асоціацією. So we begin with the telephone. So take a sheet of paper and put down in the middle this word, telephone. Now think please, what other words can you use to substitute them? So the synonyms to this word. You may use a smartphone, You may say a mobile phone. In the United States, people call it a cell phone. Cell, stilnikový telefon. Or just a phone. Or just a phone. So in the middle of the sheet of paper, you have these words, which mean the same. Telephone. It means the same. So when we are talking about the telephone, what do you think of first? What is this? This is a device. This is a kind of device which consists of some parts. So when we say a telephone, a smartphone, a mobile phone, we imagine a device. So the first group would be device. That's the group of words. If it is a device, what kind of device is the telephone? It can be either a monoblock What is a monoblock? Monoblock, everything is clear, one single device Or it can be a flip phone Flip, what is to flip? Flip the rozkrivatisya So, flip phone Розкладний телефон. Телефон, що розкривається. So the device can be either a monoblock or a flip phone. What does it consist of? There is a screen or a touch screen on your phone. There is a speaker for you to hear what people are talking to. For people to hear what you are talking, you need a microphone. So, a microphone. Of course, no telephone can work without what? A battery. So, the other word is battery. So, the battery is essential for the telephone to work. And 
to charge this battery you need a charger charger зарядный пристрик then can you talk on the telephone without a sim card of course not so next word is a sim card and you can also store some information and photos on your phone and for that purpose you need a memory card a memory card and the last thing most people use headsets headsets armitura so when we are talking about things when we are trying to learn new words we should group these words by logical fields so as a device we understand that a telephone is a monoblock or a flip phone it has a screen or a touch screen it also has a speaker a microphone a battery a charger a sim card a memory card and headsets and headsets to be used in the streets or whatever wherever you can go uh, of course you may add some more parts which are related to this group mind please that all of these words а noun всі ці слова це іменники. Тож пристрій, складові частини означає іменник. So a telephone is a device. So that's the first logical group. The second logical group. What do we use it for? Для чого ми його використовуємо? You can name many things, many purposes and all of them are actions. So the other group is actions які виконуються за допомогою телефона. Те, що можна з ним зробити за допомогою телефона. Actions means дії. So actually these are going to be verbs. Це мають бути дії слова. And the very common verb is to call. Call somebody. To call somebody. Подзвонити комусь. Or you can make a call make a call зробити дзвінок but please mind call somebody no preposition is used немає прийменника після дії слова make a call to somebody зробити дзвінок до когось дослівно the preposition to should be used to make a call to somebody you also may give somebody a call give somebody a call це також буде подзвонити комусь If somebody is calling you, then you get a call. You get a call. Приймаєте дзвінок. Але приймаєте дзвінок від когось. So get a call from somebody. In order to make a call, you should dial the number. Dial the number. Dial, циферблат, dial the number, набрати номер, набрати номер. Then, with your phone, you can send a message. Відправити повідомлення. If you can send a message, you can receive a message. Отримати повідомлення. receive a message so if your phone is low if your phone is low не низький ні заряд низький so if your phone is low you can charge the phone зарядити телефон and so on and so forth so you can add more and more words and uh, word combinations which are used as actions which you can do with the smartphone or the telephone the purposes that you can use it for
So all of them, as you can see, are not single verbs. Це не прості, одиничні дієслова. They are mostly used as word combinations. Вони переважно вживаються у складі словосполучень. And they are called the collocations. Вони називаються типові словосполучення, які використовуються саме так, саме у цьому контексті. Now, look please at the screen. Here you can see some more collocations uh, which are related to the topic on the form. But these collocations are mixed. You can see the first column, the first part of the collocation, and the second column, the continuation of, the, uh, of this collocation. Please, have a look at them and try to match the correct collocations. For example, take the first one, enter. What can you enter? Of course, it's definitely you can enter a number. Enter a number, vest the number. The next one, make. What can you make with the phone? Of course, you can make a call. To make a call, we have already found it out it. Зробити телефонний дзвінок. The next one, lose. What is lost? What can be lost if we are talking about the telephone? Of course, you can lose the signal. To lose the signal, втратити сигнал, вийти за межі досяжності лінії. The next one, put. What can you put? You can put the phone on silent. To put the phone on silent, поставити телефон на беззвучний режим. On silent, це без звуку, тиша. Recharge. Of course, we have already put it down. You can recharge the battery or your phone. Recharge your phone, зарядити телефон або зарядити батарею. The next one, listen to. Of course, you can listen to your voicemail. Прослухати голосове повідомлення. Next, leave. Leave. Leave – залишати. You can leave a message. Можна залишити повідомлення. The next word, which is phrasal verb, top up. What do you think top up means? Top – вершина, up – догори. Що значить вершина і ще догори? To top up means довантажувати, довершувати до кінця. So what can you top up? You can top up your mobile. It means the поповнити рахунок на телефоні. Disable, enable. This negative prefix in positive prefix. Able – здатний спроможний. Що? Відключити або увімкнути. What can you disable? Of course, out of these words, you can disable or enable data roaming. Увімкнути або вимкнути передачу даних у роумінгу. Save or add. What can be saved? Let's write a number to the contact list. To save a number or to add a number to the contact list. Зберегти номер у списку контактів. The next word is put. To put. To put means, uh, can be used with to put somebody on loudspeaker. What is the loudspeaker? Гучномовець. To put somebody on loudspeaker. Це увімкнути гучний зв'язок. And the last one. To run out. To run out means завершитись, закінчитись. Of course, that's about money. So you can run out of credit, run out of money. So that's it. That's it. So as you can see, we divided the vocabulary, the words related to the topic into two groups. But of course, there can be some more words and word combinations and collocations which can be added to these groups, to either. And uh, please, uh, when you are doing your home task, when you are reading through different texts, Please, you may add some more words to these schemes. Uh, let's try to make one more group. Uh, what would it be? What would it be? We have a device. We have actions. What else could it be? I will give you a prompt, a hint. 
Uh, we are not always talking that nice and literary on the phone. Usually we use a lot of colloquial words, we use some specific words. What are they? Як називається ці розмовна лексика, розмовні слова або специфічні слова, які ми вживаємо в нашому мові? That is right. That is jargon. So the third group would be jargon. Jargon або жаргонізми. Так, прожисті розмовна лексика або професійно орієнтована лексика. Звісно, що є багато слів і лексичних одиниць, що пов'язані з темою телефон. And what we are going to talk about, these are the phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, фразові дієслова. Most of them belong to the group of jargon. Більшість з них відносяться до групи жаргонізмів. Before we deal with the phrasal verbs, let's remember what are they. So the phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and a preposition, or a verb and an adverb. Діє слово і прийменник, діє слово і прислівник. Це означає фразові діє слова. Now look at the screen, please. Here you can see the phrasal verbs which can be used in the topic according to the theme of the telephone. The telephone phrasal verb. So what are they? The first is cut off. What is to cut off? Обрізати. Припинити, to interrupt a telephone conversation. The next one, which is synonymic to the previous, hang up, hang up, hang, висити, hang up, повісити, повісити трубку, тобто terminate the conversation to end a telephone conversation. Припинити телефонну розмову. The next one, to get through, I cannot get through to you. Я не можу продертися до тебе, ми ж не кажемо продертися. А що? Додзвонитися. So to get through means to succeed in speaking to somebody on the phone. Додзвонитися. To call back. To call back is pretty clear. To answer back, to call back means again or in return. Speak up. Speak up. Up означає догори, вище, більше. Speak up, speak louder. Говори гучніше. The next one. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, just a minute, hang on. Хвилинку, зачекай. Let's wait for a short time. The next one. Please pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. That means, візьми трубку, візьми телефон, або дай відповідь. The next one. Break up. Let's break up. Давай зробимо перерву. But if we are talking about telephone, to break up means... Тимчасові труднощі на зв'язку або відсутність, перериви у зв'язку. The next phrasal word, put through, is usually used by secretaries. I'm sorry, I cannot put you through to the boss. Вибачте, але я не можу зв'язати вас із начальником, керівником. So to put somebody through means to connect by the telephone. And the last phrasal word which is given here, hold on. Зачекай, hold on, повеси, зачекай на зв'язку. So these are the phrasal verbs which you can use and add to the scheme. Now look again at the next screen. So here are some other phrasal verbs. And the task is try to guess what phrasal verb should be used in each sentence. Let's first read them loud. So the first one is put on. We didn't have this word in the previous screenshot. Put on means відкласти, передати. Передати повідомлення, передати дзвінок. The next one, call back. It's clear, передзвонити. Dial out. We had this word to dial. To dial це набирати. Out десь назовні. To dial out позвонити десь за межі приміщення. To get through, we had this phrasal verb, to get through, додзвонитися. And to get back, передзвонити, повернутися до цієї розмови пізніше. So the first sentence. If you want to make a call outside the hotel, you have to dial 9 first. What phrasal verb should be used? To make a call outside, outside the measure. 
definitely it's if you want to dial out. Якщо хочете подзвонити за межі приміщення. Next sentence. It's difficult to get a connection to the customer helpline in the mornings. What is get a connection? It means to get through. It's difficult to get through to the customer helpline in the moment. Важко додзвонитися до служби підтримки покупців вранці. The third sentence. I'm sorry, he is out right now. Can you phone again at about 7 o'clock? Phone again. Phone later. It means call back. Can you call back at about 7 o'clock? The next sentence. I'll to you with my response in a few days. What should be used? Yes, that's I'll get back to you with my response in a few, day, in a few days. As you can see, in these two sentences, call back and get back have similar meanings. Подібні значення, вони близькі за значення. Яка ж тоді різниця, коли вживати call back, коли вживати get back? Якщо і те, і інше означає передзвонити, повернутися до розмови. The only difference is the preposition to. Get back to somebody. Передзвонити комусь. In the fourth sentence we have I'll get back to you. So we use get back. The next one. Hi Aunt Nancy, it's Dean. How's everything? Hi, fine, thanks. Just a minute. I'll give the phone to your uncle to give somebody a phone or to pass the information or to pass the message means I'll put you on to your uncle. Я передам трубку твоєму дядьку. Я передам повідомлення твоєму дядьку. So put on to somebody, передати повідомлення або слухавку іншій людині. And of course, you may have many other word combinations and phrasal verbs which are used in this topic, according to this topic. So, finally, we've got three logical groups by which it's much more easier to learn new vocabulary. Набагато легше запам'ятати великий обсяг нової лексики, якщо її логічно погрупувати. Так само, як папки на комп'ютері, ви знаєте, що в кожній папці, тому що вона логічно пов'язана із своєю назвою, так і ми можемо слова побудувати за таким принципом, віднести їх в логічні групи. Of course, you can add many other such folders. Можна додати інші такі папочки, інші групки. It depends on you. It depends on you. This makes it much more easier to learn the vocabulary. And there is one thing, another hint. Ще одна порада, як легше вивчити. In English there is a saying, an apple a day makes, uh, draws your illnesses away. Яблуко щодня відганяє всі ваші хвороби. I would paraphrase it. Я трошки змінив це прислів'я. Five words a day will make your English test 200 points. П'ять слів на день і ваше зно з англійської мови буде на 200 болів. Так, можливо, це не складно, зате ефективно. So, I hope you will learn this vocabulary, work hard, I wish you good luck, and see you next week. Take care.